What's it up, baby? Y'all didn't know it is. That big boss hog. Boss dog. K Paul through the door. He the top to his boxer. What's good with y'all? Man, you know, I want to talk about Edgar Belonga, man. Um, him signing with Matchroom Boxing. Uh, if I, apparently, it's a multi fight deal. Um, you know, he's supposedly uh, stating that, you know, he feels like Eddie Hearn will. Uh, basically give him the best options the best fights he wants to become the best 168 pounder out there um you know and he wants to reignite that rivalry between mexico versus puerto rico because eddie hearn promised him a canelo Alvarez fight um i just want to talk about how this deal that he did um he just got hustled by eddie hearn this it's a good deal for eddie hearn bad deal for erica belonga reason why i said that's because eddie hearn and here is another undefeated prospect Edgar Belaga still is a prospect. Um, the step of fights that he had, he did not perform well. Now, Edgar, Edgar Belaga says he had injuries in those fights. You know, hey, man, look, when you step in that ring or any sport, when you when you injure, you step on that, 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 that field, that court, that ring, you got to live up to the hype. You got to perform. You know what I mean? You can't barely squeak out a win. You can't be getting knocked down, and he because a couple of his fights he got knocked down or he didn't look good. You know what I mean? So, um, but he's blaming it on injuries. And like I say, man, you gotta figure that stuff out. You know, if you are gonna fight injured, you gotta figure out. Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna get on my bicycle. I'm gonna box more. Like Andre Wood when he fought Kovalev the first time, he said his knees were messed up. He couldn't do road work. You know what I mean? But he figured out a way to win. You know, you got to, when you the best, you got to figure out a way to win. This where this comes into play. This where the IQ comes into play. And there's a reason why Top Rank was like, you not ready yet. So Top Rank was looking to scale him back, and he got frustrated about that. But you can't get mad about that. Get back in the lab, work on your craft, and, 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 and get in and start destroying people. You know what I mean? He has the skill. He has the talent. He just has to display it. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like he was kind of living up in the hype a little bit. You know, he started, you know, walking out with Fat Joe and, you know, thinking that he made it. And um, in this boxing game, you got to stay hungry. But the problem is a lot of guys, they start getting a little success and they get big headed. And then they, they, they get away from, you know, the hunger, the passion. Prime example is Agent Broner. I mean, Agent Broner back in the day, man, they tell you stories, but they had to tell Agent Brown to get out the gym. You know what I mean? Whereas, you know, the past couple of years, besides this particular fight, you know, this age version of Agent Brown, he's back focused. But the past couple of times, Agent Brown was living up to the hype. He wanted to be like Floyd. He thought, oh, man, I'm going to go party. I'm going to be a rapper. I'm going to go on tour. I'm going to do this, do that. And they fell in love with the money, the glitz and glamour, the attention they're getting. Instead of focusing on just living a simple life and focusing on boxing. And that's what I think happened to Edgar Belonga. Now, I don't think this is a good deal for him because it's not a guarantee Canelo Alvarez, you're going to get that fight. Canelo Alvarez can say, you know what? I've done enough in boxing. I'm going to retire tomorrow. So now what? What are you going to do? Who are you going to fight? You're going to keep fighting, you know, all them, the Liam Liams and, you know, the Callum Smiths and all that. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, bro. Like, you won't, you want to become a household name 168 pounds i feel like man you could have either went to pbc or you know went to golden boy you know what i mean go to you're a latino golden boy do well latino fighters like you got to do what makes sense business wise i don't feel like eddie hearn is a good promoter for any american fighter you know what i mean although edgar belanga claims puerto rico he's from new york you see what i'm saying he's american so at the end of the day you know, you have to sit there and look like, man, okay. Um, does this really make sense for me business-wise? Because you got to promote your fighters, right? You got to, you know, Canelo Alvarez was already a big attraction. Why? You know, before he came to, you know, work with and partner with Eddie Hearn. Canelo Alvarez was already a big attraction. I don't feel like Eddie Hearn is, can promote and build him up to a big star. Now, Eddie Hearn, what he going to do out of him is he going he gonna to run that boy into the ground. That's what Eddie Hearn going to do. Eddie Hearn's going to run Edgar Belonga into the ground. I'm telling you right now. He's going to start putting him in these fights that, you know, hey, man, it makes more sense. They're offering you $30 million to fight, you know, uh, out there better beef. Take it. You know, this is a, this is a chance. He's he going he gonna to sway you like that. 
you know, and I just think that, you know, that's not a good deal, you know what I mean? For Edgar Belonga, for Eddie Hearn it is, but for Edgar Belonga, it's not, it's not good. You know what I mean? It doesn't help his legacy. You want promotion. You want to, you know, build your brand. You know, you want to, you know, get bigger as a fighter, but also have those names. You see what I'm saying? PBC got Caleb Plant, uh, 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 David Benavidez, uh, Anthony Dorrell. Like, they got some names over there, 168 pounds. You see what I'm saying? And you still can get a Canelo fight coming from PBC. You know what I mean? Golden Boy can promote you well because you're Latino. You see what I'm saying? It makes more sense business-wise. Now, I don't know what fighters they have 168 pounds on Golden Boy, but they could promote you and, you know, promote the hell out of you. That's what I know. It'd be some dudes, they'd be, Golden Boy be promoting some of these dudes and they'd be trash. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, to the, you know, to the people who know boxing, you look at him, you be like, that dude trash. But people who don't know, they're going to be like, oh, man, that dude is good. Look at his record. You know what I mean? He must be something. Oscar De La Hoya is attached his name to him. So I just think, man, at the end of the day, like, Edgar Belonga is a grown man. You know what I'm saying? He made the decision that was best for him. But in my opinion, I'm saying my opinion, I feel like it was a bad deal for him, but a good deal for Eddie Hearn. You see what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Boss gone.